Hey what's up guys today I'm going to show you how to make real time shadows just like this so let's get started So this is very easy to make and also it is real time you can see when I move right or any direction it is just going down like the real shadows you can see it is down and when I move upside down it is still going down so let's get started So before we work with this you need to go to extensions and get pen from here So first of all you need any sprite with any costume I have chosen this from the scratch library and now let's get started with the code So first of all we'll make a block called shadows and we will have three number inputs first will be length second will be intensity and third will be opacity and run without screen refresh should be checked click on okay and here we have a new block so to work with this we will start with move 10 steps and instead of 10 steps we will put here a multiply operator and in this we will put length and negative 1 so this will just go back a few steps the number we put in the length it will go there then it will clear the previous shadow made like this will be real time so it will be created every millisecond so we need to clear that first and then we'll set brightness effect which will be our intensity like how dark will it be so set brightness effect to you can put a multiple operator here too and in the first value you can put intensity in the second value you can put negative 1 and now we'll set the ghost effect so ghost effect will be our opacity but it is a bit different so to match that you can just put an minus operator in the first here you can put 100 and in the second you can put opacity so it will be like if i set it to 40 and it will go 100 minus 40 so it will be 60 the ghost effect 60 will be opacity 40 that is pretty obvious and now we'll put the repeat block with repeat length times move one step and also tamp and now we'll clear the graphic effects like these to prevent any effects with our sprite and this is it now you can do is that when the green flag clicked forever you can put this block here you can put the length so i will put here 5 5 will be enough and then i can put the intensity so intensity should be 50 and opacity should be 45 so now let's try so here you can see this shadow is not looking that good first of all it is pixelated and second it is created at the back so if you don't want that you can just remove this move block and also this move block and instead of that you can put your change x by and change y by on in both of them you can put this length into negative 1 block here and then you can just put change x by 1 and change y by 1 in this repeat loop and that should fix it here you can see this is created at the downside and now we'll check if it is real time so to check that you can just put any script you want so it will be like when the green flag leg forever if mouse down move two steps and also point towards mouse pointer so we'll check both rotation and movement so here you can see when i move it is being created and it is created always on the down side like you can see is it still down and if i make it upside down it is still down and now we'll fix the pixelated problem so let me tell you this problem cannot be fixed in scratch but i have a tool which can fix it for you first of all open your web browser and you can type your turbowop.org and when we open this website you can click on see inside and here we have a project editor so now you can just go to file and choose your project so i'll choose the current project and now you can go to advanced and click on high quality pen and let's see the magic here you can see these shadows are now very smooth and not pixelated at all this happens in scratch because it limits the editor to go only 480 by 360 resolution which is pretty low but this removes that limit and that is pretty cool unfortunately this will not work on the scratch website and when you share your projects you will still get the pixelated one but that is fine and not a big deal so this was all for this video i hope you guys enjoyed smash like if you did thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video